Assalamualaikum brothers and sisters, it's me again, Oyao Theresa, and today I'm gonna be reacting on I found 20 mistakes in Quran, a man challenge by Dr. Zakir Nate. So guys, today I'm very kind of curious about this because um, I just hear this kind of video and actually as what I've heard lots of things, things mistake in Quran, but today as what I watch in this title that he found 20 mistakes in Quran. It makes me kind of curious about this. So guys, I hope that um, I will learn something for today's video. So let's get ready to the video. Dr. Zakar, you said there isn't any mistake in Quran. I see more than 20 mistakes in Arabic grammar. And I will tell you some of them. He said in Baqarah and Hajj, Inna Allahina Amanu Allahina Hadu Asadeen. Which is right? Asadeen or Asadeen? Number one. Number two. Brother, he said, brother one question at a time. Yeah. But at the same thing, he said in Surah Taha 63, Mistake. Can you explain that? And there is more than that. Uh, brother, brother will allow you only the first part of the question. The second part will not allow because you stated will allow okay. one question at a time so others get a chance to. Okay. Brother has asked a very good question. I would like to be more concordant and agree. He has mentioned all 20 grammatical points. And the book is referring to Abdul Fadi. Abdul Fadi, correct? Is the Quran infallible? Can you see something? Yeah. Alhamdulillah, my side is good. What is Quran is infallible? I will uh, answer oh. all 20 together. Because I read the book. I'll answer all 20, inshallah. Inshallah. Point number one, brother. Point number one. Point number one to be noted that all Arabic grammar is taken from the Quran. Mm. Quran was the highest Arabic book, a book which has the maximum level of highest literature. All the Arabic grammar has been derived from the Quran. Quran is the textbook of grammar. Since Quran is the textbook of grammar and all the grammar is derived from the Quran. The Quran can never have a mistake. Point number one. Point number two. Point number two. Point number two. It is like you know taking a ruler and the ruler is there has a measurement and you're saying the measurement is wrong. It sounds illogical. Point number two. In the different tribes of Arabia, and you know Arabic, and Dr. William Campbell also will agree with me. In different Arabic tribes, the grammar keeps on changing. In some Arabic tribe, the word is feminine. The same word is even masculine in the other tribes of Arabia. In different tribes, the grammar keeps on changing. Even the gender keeps on changing. So will you check Quran with that faulty grammar? No. And furthermore, the eloquence of Quran is so high. It's so high, it is far superior. And you know there are various books on the internet to go. 12 grammatical mistake, 21 grammatical mistake, Abdul Fadi, 20 grammatical mistake. Do you think the Christian people took out these mistakes? Who took out these mistakes? Do you know who took out? The Muslims, the Muslim scholars like Samakshari, what they did that the Quran grammar is so high that it goes against the conventional views of the Arabic. Quran grammar is so high, to prove the Quranic grammar was high, they give examples. And I'll give you a couple of examples, which will answer all these 20 questions. They give the example, like read in the Quran, it says that the people of Lut, alayhi salam, they rejected all the messengers. They rejected the messengers, right. it's mentioned. Dr. William Campbell said, the people of Noah, they rejected the messengers. We know from history that there was only one messenger sent to them. So it has a grammatical mistake. Quran should have said the people rejected the messenger, not messengers. I agree with you. With layman grammar like how you and I know, it may be a mistake. But if you read the books written by Arabs, what is the beauty of the Quran? The beauty of the Quran is, why does the Quran refer messengers instead of messenger? You know why? Because
because we know that the basic message of all the messengers was same that there is one God, our Tawheed, our Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. By mentioning the people of Ruth al-Salam, the people of Noah rejected the messenger. It says by rejecting Ruth al-Salam, they are indirectly rejecting all the messengers. Yes, see the beauty, see the eloquence, Alhamdulillah. You may think it's a mistake. It's not a mistake. Similarly, people like Anush Saroj says that Quran says, Kul fa yakul, be and it is. It should be kul fa khana, be and it was. Again, past tense is kul fa khana in Arabic. It's not kul fa yakul, but the kul fa yakul is more superior. It says Allah, it was, it is, and can do. Past, present, and future. Thank you, Dr. Naik. Right, so. I guess I don't need to explain more about that because Dr. Zakir Nix explained it very well. You know, um, I touched the word when he said that Arabic gets from the Quran, you know, something like that. So it's something like, you know, why? Why should, how could they get mistake if Arabic word is, they get it from Quran? And also, um, the other one also is something like he explained the word and he just correct it because it's a wrong so i also agree with miss um dr zakir nick that um there's a word like different how to you write it but same meaning and also after like watching mr zakir nick like he was just smiling after hearing the question so i know like Mr. Uh, Dr. Zakir Nick know lots of things, so that's why I always want to watch this kind like his video a lot because I really, really learn something. I really learn new things about Mr. Zakir Nick. So guys, thank you so much. I hope you learned something for today's video. So guys, may God bless you and have a nice day, everyone.